Why you dey buy it? Yeah? Take product, yeah. Make you dey careful, no go damage your life. You've got one life to live. My original. You should know where to go. The SOM. Don't touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. It destroys. Don't touch, don't touch. Standards Organization of Nigeria, improving lives through standards. Coronavirus is a pandemic that is fast threatening human existence across the globe. Governments the world over are evolving and deploying measures to check the spread of the virus, which has continued to impact negatively on the socio-economic life of people around the world. In Nigeria, Lots of measures have been put in place by states and federal government to contain the spread of the virus. While we urge all Nigerians to observe the various precautionary measures to check the spread of the coronavirus, the prevalence of fake and substandard products in Nigeria is another kind of virus that is ravaging the nation's economy. What makes a product substandard? Why do people engage in production and distribution of fake and substandard products? What is the impact of these products on the economy? These and more questions we shall attempt to find answers to on this week's edition of the program. It is Standard and You, Nigeria's most authoritative platform on television, where you examine quality and safety of products. Best wishes to you from the Director General of the SON, Dynamic Management and Productive Staff of the SON. Ifama Okonkwa is my name and nice to have you join us on the program. Stay safe, stay tuned and enjoy the program. I'll be back shortly. The Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON, brings a new lease of life to Nigeria SMEs. SON has put a greater premium on developing standards to improve made in Nigeria products for export. We have developed more standards for products like Sesame, Coco, Gary, and more, courtesy of our accredited state-of-the-art laboratories. In keeping with the federal government's ease of doing business, SON has simplified its processes and turned around time for SONCAP, MANCAP, and other certification processes. SON has intensified market surveillance, raids, and seizures to reduce substandard products in circulation and offenders shall be prosecuted. Join SON in reading our nation of substandard products. If you see something, say something. Standards Organization of Nigeria, improving lives through standards. Welcome to another edition of the program Standard and You. It is an initiative of the Standard Organization of Nigeria brought to you every Monday at this time on this station. Fake or substandard products can be found anywhere and everywhere. Most of these products, ranging from domestic to industrial products, are imported into Nigeria. What makes a product fake or substandard? We will tell you all you need to know about a fake and substandard product and more importantly why you must not patronize sellers and dealers on such products please take a look the world no doubt is a global economy where goods and services move from one country to another nigeria is part of this global market where thousands of products are imported from other parts of the world, especially Asian countries like China. Investigations by the Standards Organization of Nigeria reveal that the bulk of these goods are either fake or substandard. These products range from shoes, electronics, and household items to industrial goods. The volume of imports considered to be fake and substandard remains a source of worry to regulatory agencies like the SON, tasked with the responsibility of checking the influx of these products. SON is no doubt doing a lot to stem the tide of fake and substandard products in the country. 
Oftentimes, people purchase fake or substandard products, having little or no knowledge on the quality of the products. We sample the opinion of the average consumer on what makes a product fake or substandard. Okay, substandard means something that has low quality. Substandard products are products that are not supposed to be in the market. When you're talking about substandard, it means it doesn't measure up to the actual quality of a product. Meanwhile, when you're talking about fake products, it doesn't even have anything near quality. Fake is inferior. Standard is better. The standard one is a good one, that is very good, that will not cause any damage in the body at all. The way the fake one cause, uh, cause a lot of damage. Most consumers are always quick to attribute their patronage for fake or substandard products to poor purchasing power, resulting from the prevailing difficult economic reality. No money. They'll buy the one they can buy to use. If you have money, you go for quality. If you have money, you don't have money, go to substandard or the low quality. Standard product might be 10 naira wide, the substandard might be 5 naira. So, a lot of poverty rate, you know. People might like to go for the substandard. Then when you things are not moving the way you feel like, at least you go for something that is more economical to you yourself because you lose your pocket. From the foregoing, it's imperative to understand and appreciate what makes a product fake or substandard. Looking at the product, if you discover that the inscriptions are not even English, so you just forget about it. That means the product is not meant for our own region, it's not meant for Nigeria. So you already don't even go to buy that product. Again, if you have, if you see a product that does not even have instructional manual, there are no inscriptions, there are no labels to it, then you already know that there is some high level of deception and that, that product is fake. So if you have a product that is a plug and play, and you, you are taking it home, then they, you are supposed to follow those instructions. And then on it, for electrical products, you should expect that the voltage that is inscribed on it, that is required to operate that product, is of our own region, as a 230 volts. And then you should be able to know that this there should be information on that product, which is a requirement of the standard where that product is coming from, who manufactured it, and then the, the mechanical, electrical properties of that material, of that product, should be stated on it according to the requirement of the standard. So if those things are not in the product, then automatically you know that that product is substandard. Combating the menace of these bad products in the country is no doubt a daunting task one of which the Standards Organization of Nigeria has continued to demonstrate commitment to ensure that consumers of goods get value for their money. The cost of tackling the menace is huge. Oh, it's very expensive. You have to deploy manpower, the logistics and all that, the security and everything. It, it all costs money. Even to them that are manufacturers, it costs them. It's like doing what you are supposed to do once, two times. So it costs them money, it costs us money to, to do that. It's a whole lot of loss to the economy of Nigeria if you put everything together. And they are not in small amounts, in millions. These measures include, but not limited, to sensitization, laboratory analysis, destruction of seeds, fake and substandard products, market survey, and product registration. We try to create awareness in all the six geopolitical zones and also um, carry out market surveillance from time to time. We go to market now like products that are locally manufactured. We buy the product from the market, not the sample we pick from your factory when we come on for normal factory inspections. So we go to the market to buy from the market and test. Let's see whether what we see when we come to your factory is the same thing as what you have sent to the market. We will test it and see if it fulfills the requirement of the standard. If it fails to meet the requirement of the standard, we will call you to order and put you under strict monitoring. The SON in the last four decades has continued to acquire state-of-the-art facilities and deployed same to strategic locations across the country to check the distribution of fake and substandard products. You may have standards, 
And if you don't have equipment to test to ensure that these products are of quality, you will not have, you haven't done anything yet. So that's when year in, year out, and from time to time, we are, you know, stocking equipment for us to be able to determine that this product is of quality. And that is the conformity assessment of the product. And then uh, having equipment is one thing, and then there are programs for training our officers to be able to use this equipment. And in that, we give kudos to the management because these programs are kind of a plan through the year to ensure that people are repositioned very well to be able to test equipment and then to determine the quality of these products. So there, is, there are you know, a lot in pipeline and as we are talking, even as the products, new technologies keep coming, you know, people, you know, tend to move towards it. And then we too, we are moving towards it where our eyes are on the ground to be able to see that these products that are coming new, they have a standard. And then even if we have a standard and that that standard is older compared to the product that is coming, of course, we review the standards and then to ensure that what we have is up to date. These products have continued to take their toll on the various sectors of the nation's economy. Worst hit by the scourge is the manufacturing sector. The acting director general of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria puts the impact of fake and substandard products on the sector and the economy in perspective. Producing substandard products gives them incentives to make more money than the genuine products because to produce a genuine product you have to use the appropriate raw materials to the standards that have been required by some. But what they do is to undercut the raw materials to reduce the, the, the standard of the raw materials to be able to make more money at the expense of the health of its fellow citizens. So it's, it's basically what is inherent in most of us that we want to uh, cut corners, we want to cheat, we want to um, be, be uh, in a position, uh, an advantage against another person. COVID. And then, you know, we use infrared um, temperature gauge to uh, gauge the temperature of people. And then you bring in an inferior substandard infrared that cannot give the accurate reading of the temperature. What happens? The person will think he doesn't have it while he has it. He will be able to continue to spread the COVID. So uh, in the health-wise, it's so critical. It's so, you also look at it for also in terms of the number of deaths that occasioned by substandard tires, substandard uh, spare parts that is being used in our vehicles. We are uh, a brake pad is substandard and the driver thinks he has a brake pad in his car and they apply it, the whole thing goes flat. You know, you kill a lot of people. Director General of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry noted that SON's conscious efforts at cleaning the markets and providing technical support to local manufacturers are measures that have helped to engender a positive mindset among industrialists and consumers of goods or made in Nigeria goods. Our local producers, of course, have the capacity to produce some of these goods. They have the capacity to produce up to standard. But they have challenges of competitiveness because of the challenges of the operating environment. So at the end of the day, their products become much more expensive than what is imported. So it is important to also create an environment to support the supply side of this, of the, of this issue, to create the environment for local producers to be able to produce more competitively so that they can also be more competitive vis-a-vis uh, -vis products that are imported. But more importantly is the issue of discipline and the issue of enforcement. Uh, within the limits of its resources, SUN is doing its best at the moment. But the problem that we are faced with, given the size of the country, given the size of the economy, demands that the capacity of the SUN needs to be strengthened. So we need to support them a lot more with funding. We need to support them a lot more with logistics, with communication, with competencies in the area of intelligence. For the SON boss, the war against fake and substandard products is one that must be won. However, he is of the opinion that the battle can only be won when Nigerians begin to resist the temptation to purchase fake or substandard products. SON cannot fight 
the war on substandard goods alone. We need the buy-in of members of the public to work with us to keep our country safe. So our motto has always been that if you see something unwholesome, say something to us. As you know, you can always reach us in any of our 42 offices nationwide or you visit our websites to tell us how you feel or what you perceive to be unwholesome and we will respond adequately. We also need continual feedback from you on how our services, how the impact of our services in your lives or how we can improve our processes. So I will employ members of the, uh, of the public stakeholders to work with us, to say something whenever they are dissatisfied and to be quality vanguards and look out for things that are not what they should be. According to the chief executive of the agency, the idea is simple. When you do not patronize sellers of fake goods, those unscrupulous and selfish importers have no market to sell such products. Nigerians deserve only the best, and we must never settle for less. Insist on quality. You're watching Standard and You on Africa's largest television network, the NTA. The Director General of the Standards Organization of Nigeria, Osita Boloma Esquire, has been commended for providing quality leadership with positive impact on the nation's industrial sector. The Chairman and Chief Executive of Seahorse Industry Limited gave this commendation when officials of the Standards Organization of Nigeria in Anambra State paid a courtesy visit to his company in Anambra State. Standard and you was there. The Chairman and Chief Executive of Seahorse Industry Limited told the leader of the S1 delegation and coordinator of the agency's office in Anambra State, Engineer Olalekon Omoni, that he was particularly impressed by the Director General's passion for quality and commitment to stem the tide of substandard products. He said the lubricant market was characterized by the prevalence of substandard products with genuine and serious investors and blenders lamenting over poor patronage. He disclosed that it took the strategic measures deployed by the proactive SOM boss to sanitize the industry. With Sun today, we, unlike before, we are sure now that uh, those people that are producing or adulterating products or bringing in uh, low quality uh, products are receiving the fight of their life, um, they don't find it comfortable anywhere. Because uh, with that, with what we are seeing with this uh, present um, song under the leadership of uh, uh, Oster Long, uh, we have hope that local manufacturers will sing praises tomorrow. Because uh, unlike before, when you will produce, you will, you, will, you will invest a lot of money in producing this, creating job here and there in Nigeria. People will just go out, bring something that cannot stand the test of time because nobody was actually uh, checkmating them. But what we, with what we are seeing today, we have the confidence that um, we, our factories are not going to fold because we can now compete uh, favorably. He stressed that he will continue to support the SON to ensure that those who produce substandard lubricants are forced out of the industry. Uh, but what SON is doing to ensure that we respect the standard, we maintain the standard, is quite commendable. And uh, uh, my, I'm talking from my own experience, what I have seen here. So I think they should keep it up. We will continue giving maximum support, maximum cooperation to Standard Organization of Nigeria. Coordinator of the SON office in Anambra State, Olaleko Omoni, thanked Chairman of Seahorse Industry Limited for his kind words for the DG of the SON and the SON, adding that the agency will continue to partner with relevant stakeholders to tackle the menace of fake and substandard products in the country. Thank you for the kind word you said uh, concerning Son. 
I also want to assure you that son, especially the Anam Brown State Office, will be ready to cooperate with you. We want you to break new grounds. We want you to go into Nigeria. We want you to move up where anybody in the world will see Nigerian products and see the mark of quality in it. The standard organization of Nigeria, the SON, is adhering strictly to all directives and guidelines in relation to the coronavirus pandemic. A statement from the Office of the Director General, Osita Balma X Square, disclosed that in addition to providing hand sanitizers, face masks, and temperature test kits, meetings within the organization is also observing the social distancing rules. The statement indicated that all necessary precautionary measures are in place to protect staff and stakeholders who visit any of the organization's service outlets nationwide. It stated further that activities in S1 offices nationwide are being carried out on skeletal basis, while relationships with stakeholders are ongoing through its automated processes. The S1 chief executive enjoins stakeholders to take optimum advantage of the S1 interactive website email address and toll-free lines to clarify issues, make inquiries and complaints as may be required. Abolima wished Nigerians and other stakeholders well, prayed for the quick recovery of all those already infected and safety of the entire citizenry. Welcome to the feedback segment of the program. I am Halimot Osifo. Over the years, Standards Organization of Nigeria has deployed several initiatives and embarked on strategic campaigns to tackle the menace of substandard and fake products in Nigeria. Despite these efforts, there are still some greedy importers who smuggle substandard products into the country and some unpatriotic Nigerians who simply want to shortchange consumers by denying them value for their money. With a renewed zeal to protect Nigerians, Standards Organization of Nigeria is intensifying efforts to sanitize our markets and ensure only goods of acceptable standards are available on the shelves. However, we need your support to achieve our mandate. Yes, do you know anyone producing or dealing on substandard products? Have you seen somebody faking another person's products? Have you been denied value for your money? Do you even know your consumer rights and responsibilities? Do you know SON has standards for various products? Do you know dealing on substandard and fake products is an offense punishable by law? Don't be silent. Reach out to us now, ask questions, seek clarifications, make contributions and give us information in substandard and fake products. Samuel from Ilarin says, I watched your program, it's very interesting and educative. I want to encourage the management to continue the good work. Where is your office in Ilarin? Thank you so much Samuel for reaching out to us. Our office in Ilarin is at 5 Ahaman Patege Street, opposite Kingston Grand Suites, GRA Ilarin. Shegun Adiogu from Habekuta says, tell me more about the program. Standard and You is a public sensitization program sponsored by the Standards Organization of Nigeria. Our transmission time is 6.30 p.m. every Monday on Africa's largest television network. Augustine from Lekki says, I'm particularly concerned about electrical fittings, motor spare parts. They do not meet standards. Come to the market before Jack on the roundabout. Coming from Aja Axis, fake products are there. How do they come into the country? Thank you for your information. They may have been smuggled in or cleared from the ports without undergoing our officer's inspection. Moses from Hakwa Ibom says, I want to join SON so that I can give you information in my area. All right, Moses, send in your application addressed to the Director General for consideration whenever there's recruitment. Anonymous Messenger says, could you tell me more about the Standards Organization of Nigeria? Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON, is the apex standardization body in Nigeria, responsible for providing standards for products, services, and systems. 
including conformity assessment for locally manufactured and imported products. And that concludes this week's episode of the program Standard and You. Keep your messages coming in with your full name and location to the number 0705972 Follow us on Facebook at Standard and You, Instagram and Twitter at Standard and You underscore. You can catch up with missed episodes online at youtube.com forward slash Standard and You. Don't just view, like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember, wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Use hand sanitizers and maintain social distance. Stay safe. Why you dey buy it? Yeah, Take product to yeah. Make you dey careful. No go damage your life. You've got one life to live.